Okay, so yes, my name is Lashira Escobosa, and I am your 2023 She's On Her Way awardee. <laughs> Awesome. We're so excited to have you and to talk with you. Um, I'd love for you to tell us about the work that you've been doing in the Delaware community that got you nominated for this award. Absolutely. So um, I have had my hands dipped in a lot of different things over the past few years. Um, but a little bit recently, in August of 2022, I created a nonprofit called Fix Her Crown Foundation, which advocates for teen moms, young women, um, just giving them mentorship and life skills to help them get through. Um, me as being a teen mom, I felt as though that that was needed for these young women because they are just out there on a limb and have no one who can relate to them to talk to on a daily basis. Um, and then on top of that, I am president for my local chapter named the Kappa Omega Sorority. So I'm always in the Wilmington area giving back to the community, volunteering any chance that I can get. And I am also the secretary for the Delaware Apartment Association. I was just elected this past January. So that has been a big thing. I'm doing a lot of work with them, um, a lot of diversity, inclusion, and equity is starting to come along um, with that program because I'm under a leadership program with the National Apartment Association. That's incredible. Congratulations on recently um, getting that undertaking. Uh, I would love to hear a little bit more about um, Fix Her Crown. Yeah. Maybe what are the some of the things that are offered to the young women for this program? Yes. Yeah, so with Fix Our Crown, um, I work with eight amazing women and including my daughter. She's um, my youth ambassador that uh, pretty much we, what we do is we educate them um, if they need anything. We give them guidance. I also have a uh, so transitional housing in the working for young ladies who do not have housing. Um, someone as me who's been in the property management industry for almost 14 years, um, it was a well, I was able to incorporate that into my foundation with my career and my passion. So um, we do offer sessions with them just to get them where they need to be, offer them resume building, uh, help them looking for careers, anything that they may need. I have one young lady, she is uh, going to prom, which I am very excited and I cannot wait. Um, she graduated a year early from the Delaware Adolescence Program, and she did not get to go to prom. So her best friend said, hey, um, you want to go to prom with me? And I was like, oh, my gosh. She was like, should I go? I'm like, yes, go. Do not miss that opportunity. You didn't get to have it. Please go. So we were able to get her a dress. Uh, we were able to hook her up with makeup and hair. So on May 30th, she is going to prom. I cannot wait. It's like Having an older daughter, I have older sons. So like I said, I was a teen mom. So my sons, they don't care about all that kind of stuff. So having a, like, right. a girl that's older, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait. Like, I cannot wait. I am literally meeting up with her after the award ceremony. I'm like, I'm coming straight to you after I leave so we can get you ready. <laughs> that is so incredible. I love the mentorship that you're pretty much explaining with the program. I would love to know what you see yourself doing in 10 years, because I know you're balancing a lot of hats right now. Yes, so that was a tricky question for me because some days I wake up and I don't even know what I'm doing the next day. So in 10 years, I will say my main goal is to expand Fix Her Crown nationally. It is in the works, it is in the progress. Some of the ladies I'm dealing with, they're in different states, so they are already starting to incorporate that into their states, but I would like that to be a national program. Um, also in that 10 years, I don't actually want to be fully involved. Hopefully my daughter is going to take the rings on some of that and I can go retire in Florida because that's what I want to do. But it, it's very hard to set a lot of goals in that far out. Um, I dealt with an extreme loss. I lost my father. He wasn't like sick. He had some medical issues but didn't wake up the next morning. So I always live my life like on a run. I'm all, that's why my hands are always in everything because I like to stay busy because I never know if I'm going to wake up the next morning. And I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, I should have did that or oh, I should have did that. Like you just never know what's going to happen. So usually anything that pops up, I'm like, yeah, I'm there. I'm going to do it because I want to just have that experience and no regrets in anything that I do. So I hear you on that. And you've gotten, 
you've had a lot of experience working with Delaware women, Delaware girls. Um, I would like to know what policy or other kinds of resources you think that Delaware women would best um, be supported by. Yes. Yeah, so recently with working with these teen moms and young women, because not all of them are moms, I feel, I, I started to realize, number one, shelters. There are not enough shelters in Delaware to help to support women. Men, I found out that there is so many shelters, but for women, there's not that accessibility for them to get off the streets. I've talked to so many women who are on the streets because like I said, I do community service in the Wilmington area and they cannot get in the shelters. And I've called myself, not just going off of what their word is, I've called myself and they're like, oh, we'll put you on a wait list. I'm like, how do you have a wait list for a shelter? Never made sense to me, but there's a wait list for a shelter, who knew? So that is a big thing, making sure that we have, there are so many empty buildings in the state of Delaware, hotels, and, like there's no reason why we cannot come together to do something to help the women in Delaware. Also, for teen moms, there's not a lot of programs for teen moms. Like I said, I am a teen mom myself. The only program that I ever knew about was Delaware Adolescence Program. So expanding that for teen moms so that they have the guidance and everything they need, and that's why I did Fix Her Crown, because the questions that I get from them are basic questions that they should be able to get from anyone. Um, and to having women who relate to them more to actually guide them and help them. Because I noticed another big thing with them is they don't, they don't feel well when they're talking to someone who does not know, who has not been in their shoes. So that's why they relate to me. I literally have a group chat with over 15 girls. You could only imagine 15 teenage girls. <laughs> that, <laughs> that goes off all the time. So, and the questions that come through are usually basic questions and I'm like hmm, how do you not know that and some of them don't have the support from parents or moms or aunts and stuff like that but they feel comfortable asking me and that's absolutely fine um but I think we should have more programs that are geared to teen moms and young women to guide them just to make sure that they have a better life in the life that they dream of um they look at me as like oh my gosh I know that I can amount to something like, hey, she tells us her story. She was 15. She had her son. Look at her now. So I'm, I am one of those people that are giving them hope. And I would hope there's other women in the state of Delaware that would hope to give them hope as well. I love that. I mean, being the women's office, that's like music to the ears, right? To hear other women empowering other women and young girls in the state of Delaware. And we love to share resources with anybody um, who might be following our pages. So if you can just um, let uh, let us know what your handle is uh, okay. in video. So what what is your handle on social media? So yes, um, so I have a Facebook and an Instagram page. You can look up Victor Crown, D-E. Um, they should both come up. We also have a website, www.fixhercrownde.org. And you can check my personal page, Lashira Escobosa, on Facebook and Instagram as well. Incredible. And we are so thankful. I'm so thankful that you allowed us to get a little glimpse into your life. And then next week, we're going to hear a lot more about the incredible things you're doing with Fixer Crown and all of the other adventures and journeys that you have going on right now. So Absolutely. thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you.